This pattern, US2223898A, 8 8 is for the incandescent light bulb. It's credited to the legendary Thomas Edison, and it undeniably changed the world forever. But what if I told you the story is a lot more complicated, and the real hero of this story might have been left in the dark? Let's rewind. Before Edison, many were racing to create a practical electric light. A key player was Joseph Swan, a British physicist. Swan actually demonstrated a working incandescent lamp using a carbonized paper filament years before Edison. He even patented it in Britain. So, where does Edison come in? Edison was a master of improvement and, crucially, marketing. He saw the flaws in earlier designs. They just didn't last long enough to be commercially viable. His team at Menlo Park tested thousands of materials. Their breakthrough was a high-resistance carbonized bamboo filament that could burn for over 1,200 hours. This was the key to making the light bulb a household item. When Edison applied for his US patent, it was so similar to Swan's design that it sparked a major legal battle. In the UK, the courts recognized Swan's prior work. To avoid a costly fight, they did something brilliant. They joined forces. They formed the Edison and Swan United Electric Light Company, which became a dominant force in the British market. But here in the US, the story is often simplified. Edison is hailed as the sole inventor, the wizard of Menlo Park, who single-handedly brought light to the world. The patent, US2223898A, 8 became his symbol of genius. So, was the patent stolen? It's not that simple. Edison didn't steal the idea of a light bulb, but he certainly built upon the foundational work of others, like Joseph Swan, and outmaneuvered them in the patent and business world. His real genius wasn't just invention, it was innovation and commercialization. He created the system, the power plant, the wiring, that made the bulb useful. The story of the light bulb isn't about one man's singular flash of brilliance. It's a tale of competition, collaboration, and relentless improvement, where the person who gets the credit isn't always the one who had the idea first. It shows that history is often written by the winners of the patent race. What do you think? Was Edison a genius innovator or a clever businessman who took credit where it wasn't fully due? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more hidden histories.